それでは早速こちらはどう攻略するファイヤーフルー Tack så mycket. Jag har hållit på med det här i några år nu. Mina san, hur är det? Jesper san, no zitsyok. Mite mita kuna är det ska? Tokubetsu event. それでは早速行ってみましょうスピンザウィーズいやー完全にたまげました本当に信じられないですね皆さん最後に
我々の天才ゲストジェスパー・ジェイダーさんにもう一度拍手はい。At the level I'm at with free skiing, it's usually really scary to try new stuff. But like a game show thing, it's just a fun way to try new stuff on skis. Ski tunnel. It was really hard to find a location for this project. My first idea was to do it in a studio, but that would be hard with space because you would need a, such a big space for that. And also, how would you get snow there? And it would be a mess to do it. And then we're thinking about maybe doing it in a, in a ski tunnel. A ski tunnel is、uh, a tunnel where you ski, like cross country skiing. I think it's negative four degrees in there. And I think it was a really cool location because it looks almost like you're in a snow cave. The challenges with this video or, and to do it in this tunnel was to get all the stuff into the tunnel because it's pretty narrow and、uh, we had to like. Slide it into the to the location because it's inside a mountain too, so you can't like open a door and go around it. So yeah, it was a lot of moving stuff back and forth, and also it's flat, so we needed winches for to get the speed for the features. I don't think we spent more than two or three hours on one feature, so we had to like keep a fast pace to get everything done in time. Yeah, I guess the biggest challenge is to film it is to find a good. Angle for the shot because it's very narrow, so you don't have many options. And I also I need enough space to hit the kicker or land. And sometimes I almost ran into some cameras. I think I spent like two or three days of building and testing, and then two days filming in the in the ski tunnel, and then one day in, in the studio. Game show studio. For the actual like studio intro, we rented a gymnasium, like a really old school like school gymnasium. So it was pretty sick to play around there. We spent it one day there and just shot all the the spin the wheel with the game host. Yeah, and it's pretty funny. He's talking in Japanese and I'm talking in Swedish. Nothing really makes sense, but that's how it is in dreams. And they made it look very nice. We like with all the smoke and everything. We covered everything, so it, the final shot really looked like a, a game studio. Like at one point, I felt like I was actually in a game show. Yeah, it was kind of weird having a costume and standing on a stage. It's not what I usually do, so it was it was a weird but fun experience. Shumoku. Kabe. The inspiration for the hole in the wall. Came from one of those game shows. Easy. <laughs> we didn't have many walls, but luckily we could repair, so we could get more than two tries on each wall. Weirdly, the shape I took the most tries on was the regular upright shape. I don't know why it took so many tries, but it, that was the one I spent the most time on. I think the easiest shape was the, like the Y, where I did a 50/50 and like this with my arms. That one was almost first try, I think. Yeah, there was one shape that I, I didn't decide myself. They made a small hole, and they tried to make it impossible, so I like exploded the whole wall. But then somehow I like got it second try. 
Ah, uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Uh, I looked so painful, but actually it was not too bad. Uh, I was so busy thinking about getting through the hole, so I forgot to turn my skis because I was supposed to like slide the rail at the end. I was so surprised when I landed that I actually got through the whole small hole, so I was in shock. Hino wa fire hoop. The fire hoop is kind of a game show style feature that you wouldn't see that thing in a regular park. <laughs> it was easy to do the trick, but there were some other problems, like a short landing. But that wasn't the biggest problem. The biggest problem was to get the, the fire hoop to stay, because uh, two times I hit it and it fell off. So that was kind of sketchy, but trick-wise it wasn't that bad. <laughs> that was the hardest part with the, the trick, the fire hoop trick, to get the, the ring to stay. I was pretty scared right there, if, uh, if that it was gonna roll like towards me, and I would have to like stop it with my hands. But yeah, I look pretty scared. <laughs> yeah, that's the fire guy. He was the man. I talked to him afterwards. We're planning some crazy stuff. Yeah, the small flip was pretty easy too. It's a trick you you don't do much. Like try to do the smallest flip possible. So it was a fun challenge. I didn't plan to have short skis, but we f I figured out when I got there that I could do a much smaller backflip if I was using the, the blades. But I think it worked out. It looked pretty funny and it looked pretty weird. It's for sure the smallest backflip I've ever done, so it worked. Worked out. Spider rail. The hardest one was for sure the spider rail. It took like over 60 tries, I think. Yeah, that's more challenging than it looks, maybe. It's a 24 meter rail with triple elbow, so I haven't done a, a similar trick like that before, so there's two, like, cross things. And I wanted to jump over one of those, but it would take more time than uh, the short time we had in the tunnel, so... Yeah, I wish I had, like, another week to spend on the spider rail. That would be fun. There are so many options or routes down the rail you can take, so I wish I could have it in my backyard and just try it right now. I don't think I've done any of those tricks I've done in the video ever before, so it's, it was new for me, everything. Yeah, I'm really, really stoked on the video, and uh, it's something different. It was fun doing it, so hopefully it's fun to watch it. Yeah, hopefully I get invited to a real game show in Japan after this. That would be sick.